When you don't need an answer, you'll be dead like this. When you don't need a chance, you'll be days like this. When you don't get the trade by that old Jesus kiss, and I must remember, you'll be days like this. Speak to Paul Hall, a uh, former Portsmouth striker, of course. Now Queens Park Rangers, a head of professional development and coach for the under 23s. Good evening, Paul. How are you? Good evening. I'm great. Thank you. Yourself? I'm great, man. Real pleasure to have you on the show. So thank you for giving up your time. Um, and, and a lot for us to talk about. We'll talk about coaching in just a second. But that news today about this loophole, do you think it's prudent that that loophole is closed? And I think there's more accountability in the EFL. Would you agree? Yeah, there needs to be um, a fair process. There needs to be a fair chance of black coaches getting in and even getting in front of people because, you know, sometimes you may not fancy somebody, but as soon as that person gets gets to the table and shows you that he may be an idea for you to, to hire, then he might lead that interview and he might leave you with a different frame of mind. Maybe I, can, maybe I could hire this guy or maybe I could speak to somebody else who could hire this guy you know that guy was quite impressive so it's important to get black coaches to the table and at least to the interview process Paul I know you won't say this so I'll say it for you but you've done a (laughs) tremendous job at QPR and I know that you're extremely well thought of uh, in the coaching fraternity Uh, do you feel however that it's going to be difficult to convince clubs and owners to sign up to this which will give you people like you a chance because you can't simply tell people how they should spend their money yeah yeah definitely i mean i can i'm just as good as any other coach out there um i feel i've done my pro license i've I've educated myself up as people suggested you need to go out and get the education um of course i do need to have that chance sorry i do need to have that chance where i can get to the table and speak to people and, and, and really show off what I need to do. But the, the chances of me getting a job are very, 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 very minimal. And that's based on the, the, the past. Paul, I have to ask you this. Earlier in the week, uh, Danny Mills was alongside me on Tuesday night. We were discussing um, opportunities for black coaches in the game. Now, Danny said to me that there would not be 20 black coaches good enough to work on a Premier League coaching staff. What's your view on that? Well, um, that that for me, I mean, if he did say that, I think that would be that wouldn't be the right thing to say because I feel that's a quite a, a not very intelligent thing to say to, to be kind, Danny. I don't think this country it, it is good enough with our coaching fraternity to be able to turn down coaches of any colour. So to be to be turning down coaches of any any other, and to have the idea that there aren't twenty coaches in this country who can produce and help players at a Premier League level. I could tell you Abire Ezi, who's going to go into the Premiership, right? I've been helping this guy get through, and I've helped him get to his very position. It's, you know, Justin Cochran, Michael Johnson. There's so many different coaches. Yeah, Michael Johnson, yeah. There. There's too many. There's too many. So I feel that's a bit of a statement that's just thrown out there and not really thought about. So it, we're not good enough here to turn down coaches from any level. And I think that even if you just look at the, the England team, People of economic value like Sterling, they need to see coaches that look like them so that they can have conversations with them. Coaches that look up to me as a pro licensed coach and a head coach, they can look at me and then we can get more onto the, onto the conveyor belt and start producing more black coaches. But to say there aren't 20 in this country who could perform at Premier League level... I think he's really personal, but I don't respect that saying that at all. You, you said about Michael Johnson, and I know John really, really well, and I had so many conversations with him when I was at Derby, and he yeah. told me about his whole process, that he's one of the most decorated coaches out there in his, his qualifications that he's got, and I think he's had one callback. He's, he said he's been for interviews, even some of the clubs that he played for, and he's only had one... I think he's had one callback just to say, oh, thanks for, your, for applying, but you, you've not been successful on this occasion. Like, that's yeah. like, For me, that's scandalous. I think so as well, because you know what happens? You, you quit a game, you have a great career, no matter, even if you play, I, my, in my opinion, if you have a, a career from League Two upwards, that's a great career in a professional game because it's professional, yeah. right? And these guys have had, you know, John has had 20 years in the game. There's loads of players who had loads, I've had 20 years in the game. Who's to say that my memories aren't as good as anybody else's memories that can help somebody come through? We've got 30% of the young players who are black or 
the football f- uh, family who were black. Now, a black coach could affect one of those players in a way that another coach probably couldn't. Even that's worth bringing a black coach in for. It's these guys. John O is a decorated coach, and he cannot even get well, there's lots of interviews where he couldn't even get to the interview table. And I think that's ludicrous because John O's a fantastic coach. There are loads of fantastic coaches out there. And we're losing too many players, ex-players, to media. Sorry, um, sorry, but we're losing them to media, we're losing them to agency, or we're losing them straight out of the game. If you look at Sol Campbell, Paul Ince, these guys had to start at Macclesfield, where Paul Ince was 10 points adrift to get a can start. I... And this is Paul Ince we're talking about. <laughs> Uh, uh, Paul, uh, can I add to what you're saying? I'll, I'll go a bit further. Yeah. Love Danny Mills to bits, but I think what he said the other day is outrageous. And yeah. not only is it outrageous, but it's dangerous because yeah. what you are doing is fueling the tired, you're fueling the tired narratives that have kept black coaches from getting the jobs that they should have done in the past. Six out of 91 managers in this country are black, Asian or minority ethnic. You look at Chris Ramsey and the time he's been in the game, the players he's worked with in the game. You look at John Slarko, Eddie Newton. You look at Terry Connor, the work that he's done. You mentioned Michael Johnson already, Andy Myers. You look at Justin Cochran and Jason Yaw. To suggest that there are not 20 talented coaches in this country that could go up into the Premier League, operate at the highest level, is simply outrageous. And it's, we should, we should characterize it as such. I know we all want to be diplomatic about this, but if we are trying to change a culture, then we have to call the incorrect things out for what they are. 100%. And I, and I, and I believe that you nearly got to 20 just there. Right. So you cannot say that there aren't 20 coaches. You can't say that there aren't 40 coaches. And to make a statement like that is, like you say, it's very, very dangerous. And I don't accept that at all. I think that's a stupid statement, to be fair. And like you say, it's it's just not it's not right. It's not representative of us. And to, if you're not if you're a black coach, then you'll probably feel the pain. But he's not black. He doesn't feel the pain. So he's probably saying something like that just out of to say something on the radio, but or the television. But it's it's an untrue statement. Paul Hall, been a real pleasure to speak to you. Apologies, we haven't got more time to keep that conversation going. Uh, but Paul, we wish you the best of luck with Queen's Park Rangers as well. That's Paul Hall, the former Portsmouth striker, now head of professional development and coach for the under 23s at Queen's Park Rangers. When you don't need an answer, you'll be dead like this. When you don't need a chance, you'll be days like this. When you don't get the trade. And I must remember There'll be days like this